Uh, this is Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, um, I think this time is actually right. 8.48 a.m. Yeah. I'm about out of money. I only got 22 cents. I got to move here in the next few days. Yeah. And I just found out that there's no free lunch today. Yeah. Mm. I have no place to eat. <laughs> now, I did keep two potatoes that I have not baked. Yep. Yeah. Could eat them without cooking them. <clears throat> Looks like I won't have any food today. I won't have any money. I won't have any tobacco. And I won't have any rights. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you refuse to acknowledge the laws. Yes. Now, I'm just wanting to document all the pain and suffering that you've caused myself and my family. Yes. Because I'm going to sue you. And it doesn't make me very happy right now. See, it would have been so nice to have my own money. Ah! But you decided to spend my money without me getting notice of court hearings. Yes. And as much as you don't consider child support as spending the money of the individual known as the respondent, <clears throat> when I give the money for child support for the five sons that I have, yeah, uh, it is to be used for the support of the children. I'm actually buying products because of the money that I give for child support. <clears throat> you thought that my wife would just sit on it. She wouldn't use that money to support my sons. No, no. <laughs> There was no personal enrichment in putting the wrong amounts of the child support order in there. <clears throat> As if they needed $1,600 a month to support them because of the amount of money I was making at the time of our marriage. <clears throat> but your thought was, well, I'm not really spending the money, but I am. Whatever products they purchase with the money that I give in child support, yes, I'm allowing them to consume goods or services because of the paying of child support. <clears throat> Now, I know that they couldn't consume as much at $250 a month, $50 a child. Yes. But when you think of the consumption that takes place because of the paying of child support, yes, I'm actually purchasing items or services without my knowledge of what's being bought. <laughs> and when you decide to spend my money, I decide to sue you. <laughs> I decide to sue you for the fraud of issuing a dissolution of marriage. Yes without recognizing my need to have a, a criminal record uh, expunged. Yes. So that when I apply for a job, there's nothing there in a background check that would cause them any concern. Yes. But you didn't see it that way. You did see it that I'm just going to spend Paul's money and he's not going to have anything to say about it. <laughs> and then my wife would never spend the money on herself. She would always buy goods or services for the good of my sons. Yes. Because her concern was what's in the best interest of the child. Now, when courts decide to spend the money of those that are litigants without the litigants getting any notice of the temporary parenting plan or child support order, yep, without the respondent getting notice of the settlement conference setting hearing, yep, without the respondent getting notice of the uh, non-jury trial, yes, so that you can issue court orders where you're going to spend my money, I'm going to support my sons uh, so that when the money is spent in the purchasing of goods or services, yes, I can feel confident that it's bent on them and not my spouse. Oh. Now, with my wife in control of all the money, all the money, 